Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for joining me today on another review on good quality craft beer. I am Charles from Beer Republic. Now, I have not done a beer review in about a month, maybe a little bit more than a month, uh, and for various reasons. Uh, one of my main reasons is because, uh, you know, after a while, it just, it kind of, it gets expensive continuously buying beer. And as much as I love craft beer, I don't drink on a daily basis. I don't drink every other day. I'll maybe have like two 22 ounces a week, and that's pretty much it. But, uh, you know, I recently got, a, um, got some beer mail. I did a trade. Um, I went out and bought some more good stuff. So I'm very excited about these new beers that I'm going to review. So I'll try to bring you a review maybe every i'll try to do a review maybe three times a week this time so i can catch up uh but uh, again it, it was just a little bit hard because again there's millions of people out there who do beer reviews so i'm just one of the millions out there that are out there so uh with that being said uh i have a very special brew that i got uh through uh, a beer trade so we are headed over to lakewood uh new york and we are going to visit southern uh, tier brewing and we are this is their uh, blackwater series this is warlock and this is an imperial stout that is brewed with pumpkins and natural flavor and it clocks in at an 8.6 alcohol by volume now before I get into the review I want to thank Lucas Graver we recently did a beer trade like I just said he sent me this with a bunch of other goodies which again I will review um, in the next couple days or within the next week so with that being said uh, let me go ahead and crack this open uh, so I can let you know if it's a yay or nay on the Southern Tier Warlock, which is an Imperial Style brew with pumpkin and spices, coming in at an 8.6 alcohol by volume. Now, again, I'm uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I was a little bit nervous as I started to do this because, again, I haven't done it in a while. Um, but because I've done it already for a while, I guess I shouldn't be nervous. But so we got the cap. Uh, go ahead and pour it. Wow, that's nice. It's actually not even, I thought it was going to be a pitch black for an Imperial stop, but it's actually not. Um, as I was pouring it in, I mean, from the looks of it, it looks like it's a dark black, but it's actually not. I'd say it's like a really dark, dark brown because as I was pouring it, I can kind of see through it. Um, it poured one finger of a head, nice fluffy head there. As far as the alcohol lakes goes, it has medium... To somewhat, uh, yeah, and I'd say about medium alcohol eggs, you know, not much sticking to the glass there. Um, as far as carbonation, doesn't doesn't look like it has that much carbonation. So, but uh, it was an, it's again, I'd say it's like a dark brown. So let's get a nose to this. Ooh, yeah, that's really nice. You can definitely get the pumpkin spice in there. It kind of reminds me. It's reminiscent to uh, uh, pumpkin. I I have had the pleasure of. Uh, Drinking some pumpkin about uh, a couple weeks ago. Unfortunately, again, I, I didn't get to review it, but I'll get some more and I'll review it. But yeah, that's what it reminds me of. You get the pumpkin spice, you get the pumpkin. It smells like a pumpkin pie. Um, you get the brown sugar. You get the cinnamon. You get the molasses. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it reminds me exactly like pumpkin. Wow, that's very, very good. And pumpkin was very, very delicious. And again, as I, I was explaining the color, I, it looks like a reddish now, like a mahogany as I'm looking at it right under there. But uh, let's get a taste to it. Salute. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. It, it's, I mean, it's exactly like pumpkin. It tastes literally just like a slice of pumpkin pie. Um, again, you get the, uh, it doesn't even taste like an Imperial Stout. You get a little bit of the coffee notes in there, but it's not a whole lot. I mean, typical Imperial Stout, uh, Stouts, you get that roasted coffee in there with the roasted malts, but not in this one, pure pumpkin pie. Cinnamon spice, pumpkin spice, uh, uh, you get the nutmeg, uh, you get the cinnamon, you get vanilla, you get a little bit of oak in there. Um, I can kind of taste it in the back. It does not dry the palate. It's actually very refreshing. Um, once you taste it, it does not leave any resin in the mouth, any stickiness. Uh, right from the get-go, pure pumpkin pie. Uh, this is, uh, again, wow, this is actually very, very delicious for um, an imperial stout. And uh, like I said, uh, I did have the pleasure of having pumpkin, and that's what it just pretty much reminds me of. Uh, but it's just like a darker... Uh, more roastier version of it 
Um, so it's a very good, enjoyable beer. I wouldn't say it's a session beer. Uh, this is more of the type of beer that, you know, after you have a, a good sized meal, instead of having your typical dessert, you know, which is a pastry, go for this. This is good dessert. Um, so again, this comes out of New York. It's Southern Tier Brewing. It comes out of Lakewood. As far as grading goes, I'm going to give this an A. Um, uh, this is the second beer that I've had from Southern Tier. Again, the first beer that I had was Pumpkin, which was phenomenal. This is the second one. This one itself also is a great brew. Um, I give it an A. So if if uh, for anybody that's watching this, you know, if it's available in your area, pick yourself some bottles. Again, this is not available, unfortunately, for my people on the West Coast. I got this through a trade, and that's the only way that you're going to be able to get it unless you live in New York or within the resident states, the neighboring states, then uh, that's the only way you're going to be able to get it. So I give this an A. Um, thank you again, Lucas, for sending this my way. Uh, thank you again for, for watching my channel. Please subscribe. I will try to bring you more reviews in the future as I've been rusty for about a month. So... Um, again, uh, I am Charles from Beer Republic. Thank you for stopping by, and as always, you stay classy.